The superior nutrient contributions of meat and poultry products must be recognized relative to plant-based protein sources. It is inappropriate and a disservice to the public to consider beans or tofu as equivalent to meat and poultry products from a nutrition and health perspective because they're not. Finally, plant-based sources of protein are nutritionally superior to animal sources for several reasons. Is plant protein the same as animal protein? I think intuitively most of us know that it's not. But let's listen in on the 2020 Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee second meeting to hear the case on both sides of the aisle being made. Meat and poultry products provide consumers with a convenient, direct, and balanced dietary source of all essential amino acids. Per serving, meat, poultry, and fish provide more protein than dairy, eggs, legumes, cereals, vegetables, or nuts. Meat and poultry products are important sources of micronutrients, such as iron, zinc, selenium, vitamins B12, B6, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, and potassium. The iron and zinc in beef, pork, lamb, poultry, and fish are more bioavailable than from other sources, meaning they are more easily absorbed and utilized by the body. The high iron content in meat and poultry products is important to certain subpopulations, including teenage girls and pregnant women who are at higher risk for anemia. Although iron supplements may be an option, the heme iron in meat is the most absorbable form. It is clear meat and poultry play an integral role in ensuring adequate vitamin and mineral intake. The superior nutrient contributions of meat and poultry products must be recognized relative to plant-based protein sources. It is inappropriate and a disservice to the public to consider beans or tofu as equivalent to meat and poultry products from a nutrition and health perspective because they're not. Finally, plant-based sources of protein are nutritionally superior to animal sources for several reasons. Plant-based protein sources such as nuts and seeds, legumes, including all beans, lentils, peas, and soy foods, provide essential amino acids and are excellent sources of both soluble and insoluble fibers. Regular intake of these foods is associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular, cardiovascular disease, colon cancer, and type 2 diabetes. Let's go ahead and mention a few other things that Brian Darby pointed out. Meat is also a great source of new 5 gc RBGH, and heme iron. Y'all, heme iron is not a good thing for most people, especially for a large percentage of people of Northern European descent who have hereditary hemochromatosis. Not to mention IGF-1, TMAO, and C-reactive protein promotion associated with eating meat. Now, depending on the cooking method, advanced glycation end products and heterocyclic amines are a factor, plus a whole host of bacterial contaminations, including salmonella, E. coli, and listeria, not to mention bovine spongiform encephalopathy. The list goes on. But just looking into one of these, just one of these, fecal contamination stood out to me. That's poop bacteria on meat you purchase. Consumer Reports purchased 300 packages of ground beef from 26 cities across the country. About 458 pounds worth of meat total. They found all of it, all 458 pounds, contained bacteria that signified fecal contamination, including enterococcus and non-toxin producing E. coli. About 20% of the samples contained bacteria that causes about 1 million cases of food poisoning annually. So meat is not exactly what I'm looking for in my diet. Now if you want all that stuff, you, you can have that stuff, man. You can have the fecal contamination. I'll, I'll take my chances with some broccoli that I washed properly. Before I bring that stuff, that came from the slaughterhouse back into my kitchen. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more highlights and information about the changing dietary guidelines in 2020, an exclusive analysis you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. And make sure to hit that notification bell too so you don't miss the next video. Y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan, next.